You seem distressed. So would you be, if your every crop of turnips was demolished by a horde of mangy horrors? I assume you mean the rabbits in that field. Aye, them. Then out but rats with ears stuck on. I'd slay him if I could, but they're too damn fast. When I catch him, I'll impale you, maim you, send you to bunny hell. That's right, get in there, mash the little bunny heads in. Go on, nail those bobtailed little shits. Three less pesky, vermin bastards in the world. Yes, that's what you get. You buy turnips, you buck-toothed fucking apes. Taking care of business, Alston. I warned you what would happen if you let them in my turnip patch again. Oh, my babies. They're not to blame. How could you? You've gone too far this time, wife. You gave names to those rabbits. Oh, they were my best friends. <laughs> my only friends. They just... They love turnips so much. I couldn't deny them. And the chance to torment your wife was not at all in your thoughts, I suppose. Oh, what other amusement do I have in this grim and cheerless life? I am wed to a sour-faced shrew. Her misery, my only joy. <sighs> Look at her scowling now. Face like a bulldog licking piss off a nettle. See what I must wake up to each morn? There is little of love in your dealings. Is there no way you could leave her? Leave her? And have her think she's one? Never! Those were your husband's rabbits. Aye, and he loved them nearly as much as I love my turnips. Look at him cry now. The sharpest pain is the sweetest ache. Is cruelty the only coin in your marriage? Oh no, there's also spite and malice. These two are imagined misery. I should leave them be. They deserve each other. <laughs> 